Hello everyone. So today we will study about what uh, is an API and how are they used in businesses and then we'll also look at one real demo that will make you understand how you can also start using the APIs or basic structure that APIs have. So going by the definition uh, it's simple it's application programming interface but that's a bit technical so we'll break it down so what exactly in principle an API is it's a mechanism for two systems to exchange data without UI so once you open google.com what you are doing essentially is you are downloading some data from google.com but that has a UI uh, that has some graphics that have some logos but when systems interact they don't want that data they just want some numbers or some information which does not need to be graphically represented right so in that scenario it becomes very easy that the quick data is exchanged between two systems so in the example or the small photo that I show here so system one wants some news from system two so it sends a request get me news and then system two get gives back the news so we'll go over one example which will make you understand how this communication happens so this arrows uh, are basically the pipes or the apis which help the communication build the communication between the two systems sorry so example in business these apis are being used heavily uh, you are it, self our customers maybe you don't know about it so you might have searched on make my trip yatra clear trip so how it works is you enter your details once you say i want to go from delhi to bombay uh, and then you once you press search make my trip calls apis of all the airlines and then shows you the data because you can get data of indigo go air uh, Air India etc different airlines in one portal only so how is that happening behind the scenes make my trip is calling APIs of different portals or there are different API providers also uh, which collate the information from different APIs and then give you that's a separate thing but what is happening is make my trip system is talking to this these different systems of uh, different companies for the data that you as a user want and showing you that in one way so a communication happening between two different systems the data does not reside in make my trip system is being fetched from a different system another example is login with Facebook so many sites you have seen they have their own login also but you can alternatively log in from your Facebook account as well so there also what is happening is once you enter your Facebook details that all data goes via an API through Facebook server Facebook validates that details and then sends back a token and then that token is used by that website say on Zomato you want to log in via Facebook so you enter your Facebook details username password and that goes to Facebook server via an API and they validate that details okay this is fine and then sends back a token to Zomato Zomato knows that this is a valid this is a token validated by Facebook and then lo logs you in their uh, portal so there also communication between two different apps happening via the API so in general <clears throat> this world is becoming very connected businesses are becoming very connected one business cannot you know sustain in a uh, sort of a vacuum they have to be uh, associated or you know attached with different businesses as well right so in this kind of a scenario like example of make my trip this business cannot exist if the api is cannot exist so now going forward also apis will become very important from a business point of view and of course in apps if app has one functionality but wants to use the functionality of some other app which it does not want to uh, develop itself then also they can use these apis so now we will see one live demo how actually you can see how data is being transferred in the API so this is one website uh, public apis.xyz 
so this is that website <laughs> basically it's a list of all the open apis so a lot of companies have opened their apis which you can <clears throat> basically talk to so we'll just uh, take an example of this okay so this is an api which gives us news so you can see so it says get api key now to use any api you need to have a uh, so i will just log in because i have an uh, id already so i'll just sorry i'll just log in okay so every api needs an api key because this data cannot be uh, open so there is a tool this tool is called postman i'll put the link of this also in the description so this tool is very nice tool uh, indian built only you can use this tool to call apis test apis see the structure of the apis so right now what we did is we copied this url of this api from this website and uh, api key also i have right so what what it says is i want to search for this news related to bitcoin i'll change it to something else say api only and from this and this is my key let's see what happens so when i say send then i'm trying to fetch the news related to api published in news uh, this api whatever this organization is from this related to api so you can see uh, different uh, news which is related maybe this is not exactly what we wanted because but yeah see unable to log in python and rest api need help so this kind of articles are there say i'll put more uh, descriptive say news related to india here you can see right hindu business line digital skill maturity index unwell to help it companies something uh, related to right fortune at the bottom of financial pyramid so different news so i'm able to get lot of data right in just one api call so suppose i run a blog and i want to make a website which is sort of a <clears throat> uh, something similar to make my trip which is sort of a aggregation of different uh, news channels so if every newspaper or news channel gives me one api i can combine that and expose as a service to different uh, users okay so yeah that's it i think for this uh, video so here we studied what is an api and how they are being used by the businesses and then how you yourself can test apis using this tool called postman and see what what exactly happens when when you call the api okay thanks thanks so much